Indicator species are organisms which can tell us how polluted water is or how polluted air is. In the case of bloodworm and sludge worm, if there are lots of bloodworm and sludge worm but no other organisms living there, then it is very likely that the water is polluted since bloodworm and sludge worm have special adaptations to be able to live in polluted water with very little oxygen. On the other hand, stonefly larvae and freshwater shrimps are only able to live where the water is very, very clean. So, a high population of stonefly larvae and freshwater shrimps tells us that the water is not polluted, but is in fact clean. Other organisms can tell us how polluted the air is and how much sulphur dioxide is in it. There are many different types of lichens around. Different amounts of lichens can, can tell us how polluted the air is in terms of how much sulphur dioxide is in the air. There is also a fungus called black spot fungus which grows on roses. If there is no black spot fungus on a rose, it tells us there is lots of sulphur dioxide in the air. The last thing you need to know about is recycling. We can recycle metal, paper and plastics. Recycling means taking old materials and turning them into something new. Recycling is good for two reasons. It reduces the demand for new resources and it also reduces the problem of getting rid of waste. So that's recycling.